And welcome back to New Kamak. So when somebody says like helicopter, is that just mean it's like a lot of copter? And so we're just going to assume and be okay with that he murdered everyone. He has assembled uh, an owl pellet stew with a raccoon sauce base garnished with wild chives and served in a mushroom bowl. I will protect you from falling victim to this delusion anymore. Archibald isn't real and has <laughs> nary ever existed. And there's a long pause. And one of the prospectors says, well, how can he possibly not exist? He was here for Ungian Jack's memorial. He brought Jack's body. And the Revenant says, the visions of a sick mind are capable of such verisimilitude. The Revenant says, such as where to for a young whelp might inquire about Santa of Claus or the Teeth Fairy. Destroy the heretic! The prospectors <laughs> descend on Jasper, tearing him limb from limb. When Archibald dispatched this guy to do this, I assigned an infinitesimal chance that anything positive would happen at all. That it would just be a total and complete failure first and disaster second. So this outcome is completely flabbergasting. I would probably say, I, I'm j I was just kidding. <laughs> so Darby receives, I was just kidding, from Miss Scott. Just a JK ing. Just. So you see, like the uh, the little dots. Oh no, we're gonna ghost me. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't someone accused recently in the news, some pro chess player accused of cheating with like a wireless vibrating butt plug? Yep. On Sneeman. Mm -hmm. It's a real thing. How? I mean, a real accusation. How do you get the knowledge that way? <laughs> we were never that creative with our Tremere characters with that ritual. That's with, fucking Yeah, sweet. with me it was just like beads, just a pocket full of beads. I heard it as bees, and my first thought was that is extremely cool. Just a pocket, f Just pocket a bees, of, yeah. Africanized like, blood bees. Like part of blood. <laughs> this is my ghouled swarm of bees. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I wouldn't mind feeding as well, topping myself up. Sounds like everyone's talking about masturbating. <laughs> that too. Just gonna go out and top myself off in the middle of the street. Oh my God. <laughs> I ain't sleeping in front of them windows, Chief. Hell no. They're they're coming for me, bro. And I assume he's gonna understand that and find a safer place for me to snooze. He gets a little nervous and he starts to interrogate you about uh exactly what kind of heat uh is is in Darby's life. Like if he has a warrant out for him or something like that. Oh no, ah. nothing like that. Not the law. Something more sinister. This this does not assuage his fears. At all. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, boss. There's some bad shit out there, and it's coming. Well, normally I uh, <laughs> am not able to provide <laughs> answers to questions about what will happen in the future if you guys have an impact on the outcome of future uh -huh, events. Uh -huh. But your reflection shakes its head no. Oh, no. In the past week, you drained your bear cub in a blind, hungry panic. Yes, just as Darby did to his squirrel. I didn't know you could do that. You can feed on animals. Augustine, you realize that the only way to give yourself enough time to create a magical solution to this curse is to drain Archibald, Darby, and Excavo. Roll for initiative. Good fucking luck, chief. <laughs> Pull a pine cone out of my dream pants and prepare to <laughs> insert it into a facial orifice screaming bloody murder as I erupt his skull. Darby, what are you doing? 
I am driving my race car onto the ceiling, um, at which point um, I am essentially trying to recreate the injury that Augustine suffered in the MKT. You fully bisect Augustine, uh, though his top half is still in play. You launch at uh, Augustine and uh, attempt to to feed from him, but uh, you kind of dive right in between his two halves as he gets bisected. And <laughs> oh you... my god, that's right, he's been bisected. And uh, <laughs> like you miss a him. Like a drink from. <laughs> you you miss him entirely, and being out of blood and landing hard, somehow the whole thing uh, sends you uh, into torpor. I see it sprout a little bit. I go, man, why didn't I think of that? And uh, shove a pine cone into my mouth. And with my last blood point, attempt to cast Speed of Seasons Passing. No, I think he's trying to grow a tree tree from his own body. A bunch of trees, I guess. Oh, my God. (laughs) Um, uh, And Darby, uh, what are you doing? I am now wielding Augustine's legs as uh, uh, its own set of weapons, and I am going to be kicking Augustine's ass with his ass. And yeah, I'm swinging a disemboweled ass at yeah, at, just right at right at your pine cone face, just as hard as I can. I'm trying to make you kiss your own ass with a pine cone. Could you imagine being hit with your own butt? <laughs> well, you're about you're about to imagine it. You slam his ass down on his head hard enough that it rips through his pants and his head disappears up his own ass. And for a brief yes! moment, and then all of a sudden a full pine tree sprouts out of the (laughs) other side of his ass splitting his head and his ass and everything apart in just an explosion of pine and gore darby doesn't have the right skill set to evaluate what weapons are good or not so he's going by like what he's seen on ninja turtles and stuff like really like bad um criteria to evaluate what to grab it's essentially anything he can recognize from pop culture and i am officially buying my sixth dot of strength oh shit after this session i have enough i have six fucking dots of strength they go that high only if you're a methuselah motherfucker uh, Darby, being now effectively seventh generation, can raise uh, anything up to six dots, including virtues, attributes, abilities, disciplines. So that's nightmarish. 